So, once we are having the result with respect to the maximum stress, now we need to sort our element table for that one. So, let us go for that. Come out of our plot results over here. Let us say element table. In the element table, we can see our element table plot over here at i and j. So we are having constant value 2.81.25 for j location and for i location over here, same value we are getting as a maximum stress value over here. So let us come out of that one and say list results. Single click over here in a list results. After that, we need to go for sorted listing. We need to sort our maximum stress at i location and j location. So let us say sorted listing. Say sort our elements. We are going to sort for the elements over here. First with respect to i location. Just select that one and say OK. Once we are saying over here OK, then we need to again go back over here in the utility menu and let us say parameters. In the parameters, we should say get scalar data. Let us select that one. In the scalar data, we need to select for results data over here in the first block and in the second block, we need to go for the other operations. So select that one particularly and just say OK. Once we are selecting for that one, now we need to go for maximum value sorting. So sort for the maximum value over here and keep our name same as it is. So we are representing or we are sorting presently for maximum stress at ith location and just say OK. Once we are saying OK, we can cross check our value over here. Just say scalar parameters over here. Our yes max underscore i is sorted and added to the scalar parameter as 281.25. In the same ways, we need to add for our value for jet location. So let us come out of that one over here. Again, say sort listing. Again, say sort our elements. We are now sorting for jet location over here. Let us say maximum stress at jet location and just say OK. Once we are setting for that one, now we need to go for parameters again. In the parameters, now again we should say get scalar data. Let us click over here. Now again we are needing for results data other operations as it is and just say OK. Once we are saying OK, now we are knowing we are sorting for jet location. So S max J. Keep our nomenclature same over here and just say over here for S max underscore J and just say OK. Now we can see we are adding scalar parameters over here for i location and j location. Now, we need to go for the maximum equivalent stress. So, we should write down one equation over here. Let us come over here in a scalar parameter that S max is equal to S, S max underscore i is less than or equal to s max underscore j. So whatever the bigger value we are having, you need to go for that particularly as a consideration considerable stress value. In that way, we need to write down our equation over here and just say accept. Once we are saying accept, we can see we are having S max is equal to same value because of these two values are same or identical to each other. Once we are adding for the S max over here, now we can delete these two. So let us delete I and S max at J. We are not needing those two. Now we are going to use only S max over here. Once we are adding for the S max, now we can go for the volume addition. So let us go for that one. But before going for the volume sorting, we should again come back over here in the element table and let us say sum of each item. Let us click over here and just say OK. Now we can see our volume over here. 
just close it. Once we are saying without forgetting some of each item, again go back over here, list results, say sorted listing, sort our elements. Now we are sorting for volumes. Let us say view value and just say OK. Once our sorting is done, now we need to add it over here in the parameters. So let us go for parameters, say get our scalar data. Say get our scalar data in that particularly. So here we need to go for results data. But once we are selecting on a results data, we should go for the element table sum in the next block over here. Because we are summing our element table over there as a sum of each element item. And just say OK. Once we are saying OK, now we need to turn out our name in the element table as zero value over here as a volume and interpret the same name over here zero value and just say OK. That means we are sorting volume over here again in the parameters. We can cross check for the scalar parameters or volume is also added over here. So volume value and a maximum stress value both the values we are adding over here in relation with respect to our H value also. So once all the parameters are added over here, let us come out of our general cost processor and write down our db log file. So let us go for the files and directly say write our db log file. Let us single click over here. In the concern drive, we need to write down our text file over here. So I'm writing as a text file name optz.txt extension is text file and just say OK. Once we are writing our log file, we need to assign that particularly for the design optimization. So how we need to go for the optimization in relation with respect to the given quantities, we are going to see.